Hello again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with part two, adding of the trees. If I can keep my head out of the way, that'd be amazing. So I'm going to use some of my Mead and Black mixed up with Floetrol and GAC 800 in a little dipping dish. Hopefully that will be enough. Move anything I don't need out of the way. And I like that the Aussie Floetrol did actually provides some cells and even though the background is muted on the bottom I still like it and if it and if it looks good with trees then it will be it will be fine all right so I've got a couple of cards and I want to put in a whole lot of trees I hope. I'm going to use a shorter card. And hopefully they can recede back. Make the tops a little less uniform. I think I want a few more over here too. Can this one can be all about the trees. <laughs> got a couple of shorter tools. This is just me pouncing a palette knife. After dipping it, twisting it back and forth to change the height of things. Not minding any little black blobs in there. Contemplating using the um, the other tool that I have, which is the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. I think so long as you just keep going and dabbing until you like what you see. <laughs> I like that the sunset is showing through. That was a mistake. Oh well. I like the texture a lot. a few receding in the distance. Let's try the other tool. Let's just try the other tool. Bouncing it. I'm plagued today with little filaments. I don't want all that. You barely have to move your tool to get it to shuffle the black paint around. You can go at a diagonal or you can go horizontally. You could probably even go vertically and add some fill-in marks that would make it look more like foliage on evergreens, which is what I'm imagining I'm creating. And it's kind of cool. It just makes me want some more up here, though. Go all the way up the ridge. I'll try and drag... Oh, that was wrong. Just going to spread those out. I like them going up the ridge, though. I wonder about a skewer. Let's see if I can find something that's sharp. Because if the wet paint is black, if the black paint is wet, except for that white spot, 
I'm not sure where that came from. And you should be able to just <laughs> use the paintballed end and fluff up what should be the bottom branches. I thought about shadows, but I'm not ready for that. Just gonna pounce a bunch of these and see how it looks. I can always add more lines. And as long as the black paint I pounce into transfers to something else, it's not a bad thing. I don't think, anyway. Probably I could spend half an hour doing this, no problem. But I definitely love the effect. Let's see how fast I can do it without screwing it up. As long as you keep going until you attain some sort of something, a texture that you like, makes me want to just go all the way over here too, but not with such a big blob. But I can always change that. Maybe if I clean off my palette knife, I'll have more luck. So good, I made the trees go all the way to the edge. This looks like a set of mountains in the background. So I don't mind scattering trees all the way across my horizon. And I will go back in and, and make everything look to the best of my ability. Somewhat better than it does now. I don't want to run the timer out because I don't think you really need to see all of this. And there's my skewer. And there's my head in the camera again. Just so long as you touch that little black line, you'll you'll give the impression of branches. And that's I think that's just about done. It's probably a quicker way to do this. I'm just not aware of it. But so far, that paintball is working pretty well, just to leave the impression of the shadow of the trees. It's certainly making me a lot happier than it was when I finished part one. And all I'm waiting for is to be able to turn it around for you like a person in there now. We'll fix that. Make some trees closer. Yeah, if I make a darker tree, looks like it's blocking something in the background. That, that could work. I think my favorite tool still is the palette knife. 
But I think a little piece of card. I thought a piece of tongue depressor too, but I'm not sure it wasn't be, wouldn't be too fat. But I definitely think a little piece of card. They're kind of scraggly trees, but that's that's fine. They're on a mountain. They're exposed to the elements. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, that's enough for now. I think you get the impression. It works for me. I like it a lot. And my back's getting sore, so it's time for me to decide to stand up and stretch. There's only so much I can tell you about trees like that. I'm going to zoom right in so you can see them. They look pretty cool. I think so, anyway. I hope you join me again. I hope my camera lasts until I'm done recording. My battery's dead again. By name brand batteries. It's my recommendation. All right, so I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will be messing with the trees a little bit, but uh, they'll look pretty much the, sim the same as they do now. Uh, no, I love you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. I think I might deserve it now. I share what I share my videos. If you watch them to the end, you help me out. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Uh, my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are all on the link tree. You can find the 20% off color art coupon code underneath show more. You can also find a Pixels Paint Design coupon code to help you buy Aussie Floetrol, Pebio Paints, or um, what am I thinking? Boom Gel. Yeah, I like Boom Gel. Boom Shell is really good in combination with Aussie Floetrol and Cell Activator. My community board is going to show you tomorrow's video. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Questions are welcome. I do answer questions. Thank you guys for the donations. I need all the donations I can get through PayPal. Uh, the, don the, the icon is on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. You help me buy canvases so I can keep bringing you tutorials. Uh, thank you for your kind words and your comments. You keep my morale boosted. If you're looking for playlists, I have them organized by topic and genre. There are now 30 lists, I believe, and they are all by the hundred. So if you need a list by topic, genre, or by the hundred, probably topic genre is better, um, just ask, because I've got them all saved and easy to access, easily accessible. All right, if I've forgotten something, it's the, the Legalerist Society 6, Pinterest, not Pinterest, Instagram, <laughs> pixels.com, Fine Art America, all those places, including spring clothing below the video. I can take what you're looking at now and add it, and you can have a piece of artwork on a rug or a towel or a shower curtain or wallpaper in some cases at Society6. Um, so if you want to find out if you can have what you want, just ask me. I thought I was zoomed in enough zoomed out enough, but I wasn't. All right, you guys, I love you. You inspire the heck out of me. I'm glad I saved this. Bye for now. I'll see you in on. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. I said that twice. See you in on. That too. Priscilla out. Wow.